Both teams love to play man-to-man. -man. I don't think you'll see a lot of zone, though Miami down some bodies may play some. Champagne on the offensive glass, picking up where he left off. Nike Sabandi into the game for Pitt. He'll launch and connect the Miami-Ohio transfer. But you don't want to get out of your game plan, Anish, just to try to get somebody in foul trouble. You want to stick to your game plan, and if it happens naturally, that's great. I'd like to see Pitt pick up full court a little bit more. Potential players who can fit that role. Ethel Horton was another one. So is Nike Sabandi, who has a three in this game. And there is Audis Tony and... Uh, the junior Paul has really increased the potency of his offensive game this year. I just want to know, where are my Buckeyes? Are they in or out? Well, they're number four right now. If they beat Northwestern, they'll be in. Nice Tony cut. for three. Yes. That was a great cut by Audis Tony. And Gak altered that shot. Cross missed the bunny, and he's down. Tony hits the three. So they need to make some stops to Hurricanes and, and do what they've done all season long is get out and transition. Nice feed, Champagne to Koulibaly. Largest lead of the game for the Panthers. Another turnover, here comes Horton. Four on one, Champagne. Reverse layup is good. I think a lot of people thought that, but Scotty Barnes is a different breed. He's an alpha dog at 6'9". Pitt making more threes. That's back-to-back -back threes now by Ithiel Horton. They've won five straight. A 15-point win against shorthanded Miami tonight. Panthers 1-0 in ACC play.